One of the questions I'm most frequently asked is, where do I get the very small pieces of paper that I use to fold my tiny gummies? And the answer is that I buy standard six inch squares of origami paper and I hand cut them using a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife blade. The most important tip I think I can share with you today is to just, you want to take your time and make sure everything's aligned. But it's the way you fold the paper that will create the most even and equal squares. I align the paper and then I put a hard crease here on the right side. Make sure it's still aligned at the top, adjust if necessary. And then I come down here and put another hard crease on the left side. I then come straight down the center and just lightly push on the middle and then push outward toward the first crease and push outward toward the second crease. This creates a perfectly aligned fold. And then I do a hard crease with my fingernail right across that fold. If you don't have enough fingernail, you could use a bone folder to do that. To cut the paper, I take the metal ruler. I prefer the stainless steel rulers to aluminum metal rulers. This one unfortunately has cork on the back. I prefer no cork because then the metal can sit really flush to the paper. I take my fingernail on this back side and just run it against the ruler to make sure I'm tucked all the way up to the ruler. I put equal pressure on the ruler with my fingers up here and my thumb so that it doesn't shift. And then I put my X-Acto knife blade before the paper. This little space right here gives me time to make sure that the X-Acto knife blade is pushed up against the ruler. And then I can start applying pressure go slowly because if your ruler shifts at all you'll end up with crooked paper and if your exacto knife were to jump the ruler edge then you can cut your finger which fortunately i've only done once in all the years that i've been cutting my paper smaller um, i'll take this section recrease that fold and just repeat that same process one more time if I were to take one of these squares and fold it into quarters and cut it, I have one and a half inch squares. If I take the one and a half inch square, fold it into quarters and cut it, I end up with three quarter inch squares. If I want one inch squares or half inch squares though from this three inch square, it's a slightly different method, but similar. I take the paper and I fold it in half this way into a triangular shape and using that same corner, corner, down the center, outward, outward, hard crease, I can set a really nice starting fold. I'm going to take this lower edge and bring it up to that center guideline crease, but I'm not actually going to fold it the length of that crease. I'm only going to put one hard crease right there then I'm going to unfold it, turn the paper, and bring this bottom corner up to that mark. And again, I'm only going to put a hard crease right there, just right on the, the edge of it. When I unfold it, that's my mark. That's what helps to guide me to folding this square into equal thirds. I bring that bottom corner up to it, set the crease and now because I don't have a ruler in there I'm just going to push the paper against itself to make sure I have it tucked in really nicely do the corners the center this way now when I look at this diagonal fold line and this vertical column point that's my mark that I'm going to bring the bottom of the paper up to, and that shows me where the one-third measurement is in the opposite direction. At that point, 
just a repeat of what I've done before. And I use the same cutting methods to create the one inch squares. If I take the one inch square and fold it into quarters, I end up with the half inch squares. So I hope that these little tips, these tiny tips, are helpful to those of you who want to pursue folding miniature origami. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Thank you so much for dropping by the Tiny Gami Studio today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.